Hey guys, this is AR Cards back with another video. Uh, this week, me and Jake, we uh, have a couple of pickups that we've gotten recently, for whether it be from card shop, eBay, antique shop. Uh, so we'll have a quick video for y'all going over what we have gotten recently. I only have two cards to really talk about. Um, I got both of these from our local card shop from Joey over there in West Plains, Missouri. Um, first up, I got this 1971 Tops Joe Morgan. Uh, my dad is building this set, and I, I really got this for him, kind of if, if he needs it or wants it. I haven't even showed it to him yet, uh, but if he doesn't want it, I'll gladly keep it. I, I think it's just a cool picture of Morgan's him mid-swing. Um, it's a cool car. I got it in a PSA 4. Not a whole lot of, really not a whole lot of black showing on the corners, which is, I know it's tough for these 71s, so uh, I, I was pretty happy with this. I say out of the whole 71 top set, I think that might be my favorite card. Like the image on it is just sweet. Like I love the image on that card. I think it beats every other image of the 71 set. Like I really like that card. Yeah, I like to have it. It really is a, a good looking one. Uh, and uh, the other card I got, uh, same deal uh, with Joey. Uh, I got the 73 tops, Bob Gibson, and a six. Um, if, if you guys have kept up with our channel, I am putting together like a run of Bob Gibson's, which and I got the big one already, you guys can see right there. Uh, but I'm, I'm getting over halfway done, which I, I can complete this pretty easily if I just do it. I've been kind of taking my time with it, though, but added another card to it, so I was happy with this pickup. I knocked a couple of uh, cool cards off my list that I, that I wanted and needed. I did also get a 62 uh, Willie Mays. Uh, and the same deal with these three or with these two cards, but I did give it to my dad because he is uh, trying to complete that uh, 62 top set because that was the year he was born in. Uh, so I gladly gave that up to him. But uh, those are the two main pickups that I got from from uh, the card shop. So I'll go ahead and let Jake take it away with this stuff that he got. I'll tell you guys, I've just been on a little buying spree of everything. But this first one. Uh, this dude is killing it in the postseason right now. And I thought I had a couple of his rookies, and I just went through some rookie boxes, unsleeved, untop loaded, and I found this sitting in there. And I glassed it, and it looks like a 9 or 10, so I was happy to have it still. And But seeing him in a Cardinal uniform kind of makes me <laughs> ick just a little bit since we gave him up for cash considerations, and now he's got, what, eight home runs in the postseason at this yeah. point, and he's one RBI away from breaking the – most RBIs in a single postseason. <laughs> so yeah, at, at the time of this recording, of, I think tonight is game two of the World Series, and he just hit the walk-off bomb last night. So, yeah, he's he's going off right now. Yeah, so as a Cardinal fan, it kind of makes me ick, but uh, I guess I guess just I don't know. <laughs> it's <laughs> it just one of those it, things that happen. Uh, we've been doing it with all those outfielders and just everyone, really, it seems like. Then I finally picked up the short printed Mar Marty Marion for my 48 Bowman set. I'm getting really close to finishing this set. Uh, this is one of those sneaky short prints in that set, and I got it for $20 on eBay. Got it from Greg Morris Cards. Um, sometimes they've got some cheap stuff going on there if you keep up with their eBay. And um, got it for $20. Bucks. I was happy to get it, and I think I'm down to 11 cards for the 48 Bowman set so it's just right there I've almost got it done getting close and then speaking of 48 Bowman I got another one got this one Greg Morris cards too it's got a crease in it it's beat up but three dollars I'm not gonna pass up on it I was happy to get it check it off my set list um, yeah just super happy with it for three bucks can't go wrong with it this next one was a antique card shop fine and it was a dollar and um, I don't normally pick up stuff like this, but I'm currently uh, building a checklist for a set that will be pretty massive. Once I get it done, we might introduce it to the channel, but cards like this are on the checklist. So if I'm finding them for a couple bucks and potentially my grade, then I'm going to start picking them up. So happy to pick up a Hall of Famer. I was really happy about that. It's a good looking card. And then here I kind of copied Brody. I went with a Bob Gibson, 74 tops. I uh, got this one for $6. It was $6 antique store. Um, can't go wrong with Bob Gibson. I mean, one of the greatest pitchers of all time. Super happy to have it as well. He's my favorite. Then next, going along with that potential set that I might do, uh, the 61 Red Shandies. Um uh, 
yeah, just another one of those type of guys. I think this one was four dollars. So Hall of Famer, four bucks. Um, it is off centered, but the corners look decent on it, and it looks like it could be a three to four. So for that set that I'm going to be building, that'll work perfectly for it if I decide to do that. And then uh, next is the uh, 1961 tops Frank Robinson. Uh, again, I think this one was seven bucks. Just crazy good deal. Thank yeah, you. That's shot. pretty sweet for, for and, a couple bucks. And it's kind of beat up, but either way, even if I decide not to grade it or not do that set, then um, I'd be happy with it either way. I mean, it's a Hall of Famer, and I got it for under $10. Can't go wrong with it. Yeah, if you don't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> now, this next one, I want on Greg Morris cards again, $3. I, I mean, if you get on his stuff, you can find really good deals, but this was one I had on my list that I wanted to get, and I wanted to buy one already graded, but $3, and this looks like it could be a 5 A 5 is fine with me in my collection to have this card. Um, yeah, I'm just super happy to pick that one up. Uh, Vita Blue, an underrated pitcher for sure in baseball history. Yeah, definitely. Then next, I got another antique store find is 71 Bob Gibson. These 71s are tough to find in good shape. This one's not in the best shape, but it's decent enough for my collection, so I was happy to get it. I believe that one was $6. So just crazy good deals being found there. And yeah, super happy to add that card. Yeah, that's awesome. The next is the 1950 Red Shandies. I won this one for 11 bucks. Greg Morse cards on eBay. Uh, happy to get it. Um, it does have a crease on the right side of the card. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Like right there, maybe kind but, of. But um, $11, I was happy to get a 1950 Bowman. That's my first 1950 Bowman I've ever had, so extremely happy to get it. Those cards do look cool. It's the picture of them look really, oh, really yeah, good. I like the artwork. Then the last one I got is another antique shop find and it's the 6-2 tops brooks robinson uh i think this was my expensive one and, and it was 15 dollars. and for a 62 man it's not in bad shape with them wood grain borders so 15 dollars, i felt like was a pretty solid deal for it and i was happy to pick one up of brooks robinson so, um arkansas legend here and a hall of famer one of the greatest third basemen of all time yeah man, he's arguably probably the best defensive i mean you could argue yeah. for that for sure so yeah that's a but, that's an awesome pickup yeah uh, we both had a pretty good week with our just small pickups and we're really happy with them and i think we're going to be doing some sort of order we're not sure if we want to go to psa or sgc yet so a lot of these cards you'll probably see again yeah a lot of the raw stuff we've been picking up definitely would like to uh, to grade so uh, we'll hope we have another video about that here in the coming weeks uh, for you guys to, to check out but uh, that's all for this week, guys. So we hope that you enjoyed these small little pickups. Nothing too big. But once again, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you all next week.